Okay guys, so here's my little story time. Um, here's the haul that I did. I did post the haul video. If you have not seen that, I will link that down below. Go ahead and check that out. This is not to talk about the deals. This is just to talk about what happened today. So I did go to Giant. I went to self-checkout. I had all my coupons. I had that $10 Catalina that printed from Pampers last week. And um, I printed at Giant, so it should have worked without a problem. I just know this Catalina, sometimes they need to be approved. So the lady saw my big stack of coupons and I shouldn't have scanned it first because that called her over. And you know, I don't like to profile people, but a lot of times your older ladies uh, that are cashiers are very particular. I don't know why, I don't know, they just are. So anyway, um, it said that she needed this, that I needed assistance. So I saw her look over and saw that my light was blinking. And she kind of just looked away like she didn't see it. And then she came over and I was like, oh, this is not going to be good. So usually they just have to, you know, approve it and everything's fine. So she grabs my stack of coupons. And this same thing has happened very similar previously. She grabbed my stack of coupons and said, none of these are going to scan. These are not going to scan. And I'm like, um, why not? And she's like, this, this is this printable. This is just blurry. None of your coupons are going to scan. You can't stack. You can't put coupons if you have digital offers. You just can't do that. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. They, I don't have digital offers that match with these coupons. So I don't know. I know that is against their policy. So if you do that in the system, you cheat the system kind of, and you do that, you are going to get caught some point doing that. So I would just advise you not to do it, to do the way you're supposed to. But anyway, that's a little tangent. I told her I'm not doing that. And she's like, okay, well, you're going to have to, I'm going to have to check all of these coupons just to make sure. So I thought she was just going to go over to her little machine there at self-checkout and just scan them all over there. Because I've had them had to do that one time. My order got suspended. I thought that's what she was going to do. So we go over there and she gets her little reading glasses out, puts them on, and is like, coconut bliss, what is that? Did you even get that? And I was like, are you seriously accusing me of trying to, you know, do fraud and use a coupon? And I'm like, yes, I did. It was a little thing of ice cream. She's like, well, I don't see that here on your receipt. That's not going to work. And then she's like, hmm. What, what is this coupon for? And she's like reading each one. Guys, I had a stack of coupons for like, I don't know, 15 different coupons. And I was like, can you just call the manager over? I do not have time for this. And she was like, oh, well, uh, uh, we'll just come over here and try to scan them. And I'm like, okay, let's do that. I'm trying to keep my cool. Um, you know, free cereal, cheap food, it's not worth yelling. I'm not a yeller anyway. Um, so I'm just trying to be calm, but at this point I could feel myself getting a little heated and my um, heart was starting to beat a little bit because I'm getting a little fired up here. I'm ready to go get out of the store. So we go over to self-checkout and she scans um, the receipt that she had printed off and then she tries to scan coupons and each one is requiring approval and I think it's because the order had been suspended. I don't know. So she goes through each coupon, beep, nope, beep, nope, and she stacks them all up there. She's like, these aren't gonna work, you cannot stack coupons. And I'm like, okay, I don't have time for this. Let's just, uh, I need to just go. So she was like, oh, well, you're gonna have to go to customer service. I can't be approving these coupons. Okay, I do this every week, every week. I scan coupons at self-checkout, no problem. She's like, well, I can't override. We're going over this. We're going to have to go to customer service. So she grabs my coupons. And after um, she did drop something, and there it was the, um, I told you about in my haul video, the Turkey Hill coupon. She dropped that, and it went under. I didn't know what it was at the point. Um, I just realized that when I got home. It went under the self-checkout, and she didn't even bother to look for it. Um, so I am going to be contacting the customer um, service about this. I was really heated and this was just uncalled for. So she marches over, rolling her eyes to customer service and tells the lady there, this, this, none of these coupons are work. You, I don't know what's going on. So the lady was just as nice as could be. And she was like, okay, well, we'll get it figured out. Um, so when she did it correctly, 
everything scanned except for obviously this free one only because you have to put in the amount and then this one beats for some reason I don't know she put it in you know that was done we were done there like in like two minutes everything was fine oh my word so this is just a lesson to be learned if you know what you're talking about and you're not doing anything wrong with your coupons stand your ground don't get pushed around don't be like oh I can't use these okay I would have walked out of the store paying what like 70 some dollars instead of like 33 dollars something like that unbelievable um, so yeah just a little lesson little story time don't lose your cool over coupons just you know what I'm going to do I'm going to do a little um, write an email because I don't really like speaking on the phone and let them know about this woman's behavior it was completely unacceptable wouldn't even try to scan my coupons there to be any accuse me of being fraudulent Un, you know that's just ridiculous so this is my little rant always stand your guard if you know what you're doing don't let people push you around and that pretty much goes with everything in life if you're doing something right it don't matter if someone else says you're not if you know what's right you do it and that's it <laughs> so uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video and listening to me ranting about couponing. Most people don't understand this and would be like, okay, that's ridiculous. But I know you guys would understand. And have a great weekend. If you didn't see the haul video, check that out. It'll be in the description box below.